I wasn't lying when I said your parents were my buddies. They toasted me. That's some great dialogue. <laughs> I think it would have been even better if he had to use one of those <laughs> in the movie. <laughs> This is going to be fun. You just know it. When How It Should Have Ended has put together one for a heavily debated film. Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Can't wait to check this out. Bye bye. It's going to be a feature length episode. If you guys haven't seen our non spoiler review for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, there's a little opening sketch there. And we did a spoiler talk going over all the problems we have with the film. Overall, I'm at like a 60% with this movie. <laughs> I'll say that. I had a lot of issues with it, and there's also things I liked about it. So the non spoiler is pretty much everything we liked, and the spoilers, everything. I'm, I'm more like a 50 50. Yep, I don't want to think about this anymore. Let's just watch how it should have ended. Hey guys, this episode is brought to you by NordVPN. In honor of their 8th birthday, they have a special gift and pricing just for you. Can we work for them? Check out the link in the description for more details. And we said nay. <laughs> we said, give us till the new year. <laughs> oh, that's right, yeah. Eh. Uh. Slight rendition so they don't get copyright. such a good companion, I would delete that stupid Sith translation right out of my memory banks out of spite. Yes. You know what? Let's see how you like it. Oh, no. Just to see how far you get without me. I am C-3PO. Human cyborg. Relations. Peace out, Panthers. Translation deleted. Hey! <laughs> well, poodoo. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! An assault team has landed on our hull. Jam the speeders. They aren't using speeders, sir. They're using space horses. Really? Now this is progress. Oh, oh. Come on! Ah! Uh. <laughs>
Okay, he can just fight him. <laughs> That's so JS. Really want to impress him. Thank you. Really go for it. All the force goes. No, 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 Brian, stop, Brian, you're pitchy. It's Rama, ha, ha, ma, ha, and you're going Rama, ha, ha, ma, ha. You see the difference? Okay, again. It's over, Palpatine. Oh, she's here. Ready? Ra, ha, ha. <laughs> Forget it. Ruined my entrance, Brian. You don't just get to show up at the last second and take back what you already lost. Oh, I'm afraid I can. If you strike me down, my spirit will be passed on into you. <laughs> what a conundrum. Oh, I'm not going to strike you down. They are. Hello there. Well, well, well. What's up, Palpatine? No more shrivel than I expected. I Should I expect it what you have? What are they going to do? Nag me to death from beyond the grave? I'm going to. <coughs> uh. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I am not concerned <coughs> about two self-proclaimed Jedi and a bunch of ghosts. You get a lightsaber, and you get a lightsaber, <laughs> nah. and you get a lightsaber, and you get what a lightsaber. This? How are you doing that? I'm using the Force to grab objects anywhere in the universe. I'm surprised you didn't oh know that God. was possible. Well, that is just stupid. I suppose next you're going to tell me that I can use the Force to heal wounds. Oh, you can. <clears throat> My granddaughter is so powerful. <laughs> You have a granddaughter? <laughs> no, you stop it. I'm right so excited! I gotta tell everybody! Hey, Seth Spirits! Ignore him! Have you heard the news? Palp is a granddaughter! Yeah, shut up! Palpatine got busy? I don't want to think about it. Yeah, uh, you know! Hmm. Lost their touch, someone has. <laughs> this has gotten ridiculous. Jedi Hub. We're taking him together. We're going to have to beat them. No, I'm taking him now! Anakin, no! Wait, what, what are you doing? Put me down! Ah. The Jedi are taking over! Sith spirits, do something! Blast it! Brian! Execute order! Fully go splat! Ah. Hell yeah! Yes! Chosen one! Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Oh, you can't be serious. Foolish Jedi! I have died before. I am the Sith, and I cannot be defeated! Hey, Dad, look what I can do! <laughs> I learned it by watching you! That's my boy! Oh, oh, how interesting it would have been to see them interact. I know. Operations. Have a chance, get him! <laughs> <laughs> Explode yourself with lightning. No, it no I didn't. I'm pretty sure you did. Nope, my my spirit is now one with my granddaughter. He's in denial, isn't he? Everyone get out! <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching, and thank you again to NordVPN for making this episode. Possible. You're welcome. Yeah. If you want to protect your data from the dark side, <laughs> then a VPN is important. If you don't know what a VPN is, to oversimplify it, they basically shield your data on the internet by encrypting it. And right now, NordVPN has a special them. deal going on for our audience in honor of their eighth birthday. <laughs> we actually got an offer from three VPN companies, so we got to deal with that. Oh, uh, so we were working with another VPN company at the time. That's why we couldn't this is agree to that, right? To the yeah, yeah, and it was a time thing. Just I mean, it wasn't like a legal complication. It was just like, we didn't feel morally right about it. Promoting one VPN and another day, promoting it at the same, like, week or something. Just go to NordVPN.com slash how it should and use promo code how it should today. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks again for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time.
as always, wonderfully edited, wonderfully composed, wonderfully Voiced. animated, hilarious. These guys have been so consistent for so many years. Thank you, team, for putting this together. And once again, on top of being hilarious, you've also made some great points. Mm -hmm. I actually haven't heard that point, that suggestion or idea that you bring up in the opening scrawl of they should have teased Emperor Palpatine at the end of The Last <laughs> Jedi. Because that actually would have blown my mind a little bit, thinking yeah. about it in the context of watching The Last Jedi. And I remember a common complaint with the way The Last Jedi wrapped up, amongst all the complaints, <laughs> were what are we supposed to look forward to with the next one? What what exactly is it that we're, we're just supposed to wrap some things up, but what are we looking forward to exactly? And if they had teased that at the end, I think we all would have been very much in like heavy anticipation for a couple of years. Ooh, what's this throne gonna be? How's he back? That would have really enhanced the anticipation experience mm. and maybe done some numbers for Rise of Skywalker a little bit more. Because I, I did listen to that whole Robert Meyer Burnett leaking the Colin Trevorrow <laughs> script mm. thingy. And so yeah, the presence of Palpatine being fully resurrected wasn't a part of that original draft apparently. So. I get why it wasn't in the Last Jedi script. That being said, yeah, that would have been a better idea. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I agree. And that's, and that's a great point about the anticipation alone, because yeah, that is true. Is like the Last Jedi, for better or worse, you know, does sort of stand on its own, especially with the amount of departure they wanted to take. I feel like that could have yeah. been a good connective tissue. And I think one of my big complaints with the way Rise of Skywalker especially handles the force <laughs> is it seems to be a solution for so many things when it's required to for the plot but not other things <laughs> that's why i love when that it's quick, clear yeah. that they could be that's know? why i love that quicksand bit that they brought up here because i didn't even think about that when i was watching the movie I'm, i've only seen it one time in the theaters but i imagine that if i were to rewatch it i would probably go to that point especially yeah. considering how insanely powerful ray is mm -hmm. in rise of skywalker but yeah she probably easily could have just lifted them out of the quicksand I yeah. mean, with enough force, she was able to hold battle with Kylo Ren in that one scene they were oh, making fun of. And that too. Which, by the way, that was yeah. hysterical. <laughs> so anyone on that ship could have, yeah, just come out and taken a quick shot and got <laughs> Kylo Ren. I love the joke. It's so true, and it was a common complaint of just yelling Finn Ray. just yells Ray! all this whole movie, just stands, nothing in his hands. Ray! Ray! You have a blaster, dude, shoot him, that was so I funny. I love the way they handled him in that entire <laughs> sequence. <laughs> yeah. That was just great comedy, that was hilarious. Yeah, well, and the 3PO bit is something that I thought of from the very first trailer. I was like, yeah, I know that we have been along with this ensemble, but I feel like 3PO has much closer friends than any of the characters. <laughs> I love in the notebook it said maybe next to Poe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then the whole thing about deleting the message and everything. <laughs> which I don't think any 3PO would do. I don't, I don't think he would do that. That's such a solid, because that is something that has crossed my mind about the Force Ghosts. Mm -hmm. Especially in this one. In Last Jedi with Yoda saying that thing on fire, and then this one with Luke, Luke and the X -wing. catching the lightsaber, yeah. <laughs> lifting the X-wing. Clearly, these Force ghosts have the Patrick Swayze abilities of a ghost. <laughs> so why aren't all them just helping out, going into battle? Yeah, that's a great point. <laughs> that's not established in the original trilogy. Mm -hmm. So in this new trilogy, they're showing these Force ghosts can do all these things. And I do think, in terms of cameo, because some Star Wars fans love like hearing the voices of Ahsoka Katana, characters from the Clone Wars or Rebels, because they're like, oh, it's officially canon oh, and definitely tied in with the movies. But it would have been so much cooler to see all of them appear, just generally speaking. I would have been down for that. Would I have wanted them all to fight Palpatine? No. No, they just could have stood in a circle around as Rey does it. You know? But they could have, and that's could've. the point of this How It Should Have Ended yeah, video, yeah, yeah. is why wasn't that even brought up at all? Like, it was a possibility that I don't think the movie was even aware of. That's what I mean. I think the rules are not really well defined in this movie in terms of Force Ghosts, the Force in general. And I think How It Should Have Ended is a great job at poking fun at these holes. Yeah, because it really does seem like over the course of at least the new movies that the Force does become this nebulous thing. As soon as there's a challenge that seems like it could be met with the Force, it seems like they write it in that way. But I haven't gotten the complete sense that anybody who's written these new ones has <laughs> no. like a set of rules 
rule. You know, it's just like a page of like, here's the basic abilities, here are the, the theories of how this ought to work, and take that and go with it. Yeah. The Force is uh, uh, weird. <laughs> it's, it's a weird fix-all. And then, yeah, to introduce so many cool ideas in The Rise of Skywalker, having that thing where they're able to like grab the lightsabers when they're mentally connected or whatever. It's like they introduce these things that are cool, and then they yeah, don't quite use them when they could be very <laughs> significant to the plot. So uh, this is pretty sharp. Yeah. yeah, this is really funny. This is really fun. The movie is fun. It's a great time yeah. watching it if you're not that angry about everything <laughs> happening. All right, all right, guys, what would you think of this How It Should Have Ended? Which points do you most agree with them on? I'll leave a comment down below. Subscribe to The Real Rejects and click that notification bell to get accepted into the Reject Nation. And hey, last but not least, let's end this with a <laughs> Michael B. Media. Omni Media. How you doing there, Michael? Guys, I wanted to tell you to subscribe to Omni Media's channel. There's an Omni one. It's Omni Media, right? He just has Omni, a, but it's stylized with a one instead that's of just an I. Confusing. It's not um, going to catch on. Omni One Media. That's why Arnold Schwarzenegger never achieved fame. Too complicated of a name. Go check out his YouTube channel. He is covering so much stuff right now, and he is doing reactions for so many TV shows. If you're a DC fan, he's covering a lot of those DC TV shows, uh, Doctor Who. So many different things, and he is killing it in the game. He's almost at 2,000 subscribers. He's like, it was a slow growth, and then lately he's just been blowing up. He's been popping off. Make sure to check out his channel as soon as you can because he's just a very sweet gentleman who loves to send me very long messages on Patreon. And if I don't get back to him, Within a day, he sends me another extended monologue oh, uh, due to his impatience. He's a really agitated, obsessive, rage-filled individual. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a people pleaser, so it really works on my guilt. It sounds like a great relationship dynamic. So, Michael B., you're making it happen, buddy. Yeah, man. You're killing it on YouTube, and you're manipulating me into responding faster. I love you. I love you too. Keep it up, you know. Keep get him into place, shape him in your image, because uh, there's nothing better than people. Okay, we we can end. We can, we can end. end. We're yeah, done. We All can right, end. we're yeah. done. We're done.